Hello guys, this is Alona Enjoy, this is my video blog and today I am now in America House. I have interview with a very interesting uh, man, it's his volunteer from America, Stuart. Hello. <laughs> is here, yes, and uh, I want to ask Stuart, um, uh, what is your destination here in Ukraine? Uh, what are you doing here? What is your goal? Yes. So, so I'm a volunteer English teacher. And uh, most days during the week, I meet with friends here in America House, uh, Ukrainian friends who are trying to improve their English, and especially their conversational English. I don't really teach grammar, but just conversational English. And so we just uh, come here and meet for about four hours, just about every evening, and talk about anything that's interesting to all of us, and kind of combine English conversation with friendship and talking about interesting topics, uh, whatever's interesting. Wow, can you say something about the most interesting topics that Ukrainian likes, maybe? Yes, well, I think that every individual is different, so some yeah. people like to come and talk about sports, yeah. some people about politics, some people about uh, maybe cuisine and cooking yeah. and things that people like to eat, some people like to talk about fashion, which I'm not an expert on, but I can listen, <laughs> and uh, so uh, some people like to just talk about uh, social issues and what's happening in society and economics and so we really cover um, every topic imaginable. It's really cool because maybe some people want to improve English but some people want to go to America to work yes, <laughs> and work, yes. or work with foreigners with Americans also. Yes, uh, we have uh, quite a few people in our group who have visited America especially yeah. on something called a work and travel program mm -hmm. which is available mostly for college students and so uh, one of our group just returned about a, about two weeks ago from a work and travel uh, assignment in, in Maryland. And yeah. so she worked at a uh, pharmacy in Maryland and then had a few weeks to travel around the country. And so she uh, recently returned and told us about her fun trip. And we've had other students, one who was in Miami yeah. and, uh, and uh, one who was in Wisconsin. And so we've had quite a few who have visited America and quite a few more who are trying to improve their English uh, exactly so that they can go to uh, America on the work and travel program. Oh, that's really cool. I think this was a really useful and good experience for them, the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to visit America in real, real and uh, in real life. So um, also I know that you are Christian. Yes, absolutely. And yes, so uh, I want to ask um, what is your... Um, vision about your really yes, destination, yes, what is yes, your dream yes. about? So, yes, so, uh, so my motivation uh, for uh, helping people to learn English is my, uh, my Christian faith and the belief that we should be helping people. And uh, one of the ways that we can help people here is uh, by helping them to improve their English, giving them an opportunity to uh, advance their English language abilities so, uh, conversational English with native speakers, and yeah. so that's what I do. I'm very active in church here. I go to an English-speaking church uh -huh. where most of the people are uh, expats and native English speakers. I'm also uh, very active in a Russian language church, and of course, uh, in, the, in the course of uh, the friendships that I'm able to uh, be blessed with here, uh, we uh, include each other in all aspects of our lives, including daily friendship and including going to church. And so it's great to be able to uh, learn English and also to uh, uh, participate in each other's lives, including going to church. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, I, I really, I want to ask uh, about Russian. I know you're here in Ukraine at first time. Uh-huh, yeah. And uh, so I know you you understand Russian, maybe, and you know some, some words. Some, so uh, some of us, uh, I won't uh, claim this as original, but one of my American friends here, he says, if I understand 50% of what they say, it means they're speaking Russian. If I understand 10% understand of what they're saying, it means they're speaking Ukrainian. So yeah, that, is, uh -huh. that is true for a, a large part of the expat community here. If we understand half of what they're saying, it means they're speaking Russian. If we understand 10%, it means they're speaking Ukrainian. Oh. So we're all, we're, some of us are trying to improve. I'm, I'm trying to improve my Anyway, my you, you will live here for yeah. uh, this uh, close time, yeah, yeah, yes. so I, I'm sure you will improve I, <laughs> Ukrainian so. and Russian I much hope more. So. Um, thank you for your interview. Thank you. God bless you very much in your ministry to God people. Bless you. And uh, let God show you the way where to go yeah. next. So Good. thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys. God bless you also. See you next time. Bye bye.